Greetings, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue our uh, Russian Empire campaign in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod called In the Name of the Tsar. 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 Tsar's a weird word. Tsar. Alright, anyway, so, a few things. That is really one thing. How are we going to divide up Germany when we are done? Obviously, when the mod began, we had three Germanies. Or I guess technically more than three, but three major players. We had the German Empire, under Prussia, sort of. Uh, we kind of had Niederdeutschland, but then we had a southern commune with both the Kingdom of Bavaria, not really the Kingdom of Bavaria at the start of the episode, at the start of the campaign, combined with Württemberg. I believe this was by itself as well, or at least a puppet. The Confederation of the Rhine was a puppet of the French. So it was really three, two major powers, kind of sort of three major powers in Germany. Uh, at the end of this, I we may just keep two divided Germanys. If three of you count Austria, but that's Austria and Germany. That's just slightly different. So, gold Germany, German Empire will unite with Hanover, and then the southern states, the western and southern German states, will all unite under one country. Probably under the Kingdom of Bavaria. So it has the Kingdom of Bavaria, Kingdom or you know German Empire, and then there's just going to be Austria, which we may have to re have the uh, monarchy return there. So, right now what we're doing is we're defending, obviously. But I'm moving my tanks around. <laughs> At the end of the last episode, I was trying to attack into this part of Germany, close to Hanover, and I guess a little distant from Frankfurt. But now I'm deciding to send my tanks elsewhere. I would like them to hopefully go to Magdeburg, Magdeburg, and we can strike across, so this way we don't have to encounter too many, as many forts, because some of these places, some of these uh, provinces have forts. As well as a river crossing, so there's a river over here as well. So. Uh, last time, oh, we do have a nuke. Just let you know, we do have a nuke. We sunk down a heavy cruiser. We've been doing very well destroying enemy ships. Uh, the Russians are known very, very much for being able to destroy enemy ships with planes. So I mean, that's just like a natural Russian gift, especially in this war. So if anyone doubts Russian military capabilities, especially in the water, say no more. All right. So, uh, yep. Let's see. Convoys? I don't know. I do want to attack Copenhagen, Denmark, eventually. So, and uh, at this point, hmm, would I give if I were to declare war in Denmark and have them as a puppet? Would I give them Schleswig-Holstein? Well, I mean, if they're getting all of Hanover, I could trade that for Schleswig-Holstein. I really don't want to give the De the Danes Kiel Canal. It's just the Kiel Canal is. Very heavily German. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't think that would be a good thing to do, but that would help help out the power differential between what will be the North German Empire and the Southern German Entente or Southern German group. We'll just call them that for now. What's been going down here in the Mediterranean? A couple more convoys sunk. Convoys, convoys, and a few planes sunk, but it's more Italian. Convoys, what's this? Ah, Greek convoys. Where are my ships? Are they repairing? Eastern Mediterranean. Oh, they're just kind of hanging out. Uh, I'll let you... Oh, I told them to come back here. But I t also told them to repair when needed. So we should be okay, especially if we have enough naval bombers operating in this area. And I have told some of my soldiers to go ahead, split up. I have two armies down here now. And the supply is not being very good at the moment. Ooh, Alex Alexi. Oh, darn, he needs to become an organizer. But, that's okay. Yeah, you guys just keep spreading out. Good. We're going to take Africa before we're done here. Sunk four subs, very nice. What is this? Ooh, a new tank division. I love new tank divisions. We only need one more tank division. But we may want more than just one, because cavalry is getting kind of outdated at this point. So let's get rid of that, and we'll still need two more. And, of course, we have a few motorized divisions in here who are 40 width with some rocket artillery. Very good. Very good. Do you have anything interesting to say, Mr. Boris? Nope. I'll write that. Ah, we have T-54s. Nice. We have modern tanks, finally. Finally have modern tanks in 1945. Almost 1946. And, uh, there. Let's get some more hardness for our tanks. Do we have any spare medium tanks? No, we don't. All right, then. Uh... We got a lot of XP. Medium tanks. We're going to instantly just go ahead and convert them. Engine. 
and armor. Good, and I guess technically you want as much armor as possible. Can I add something to the gun? Yeah, let's add a little bit to the gun, why not? Let's get some better tanks, and we'll instantly kind of ruin our tanks to start off with by replacing them with a modern tank. This way, we will have a deficit of modern tanks, but at least we'll help shore up a little bit of that medium tank deficit as well. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, looks like we can have an opportune time to strike right into there. Hopefully that could do some damage. Hopefully they could win, perhaps, unless we're getting pierced. Ah, uh, yes, they are getting pierced. Well, for the most part. That is not good, but we are winning the battle. That's what really matters here. We are winning the battle. We have quite a bit of political power as well. Nice. Alright, so, the guys are getting pierced. I'm going to send two, and then another two will come to Hanover. And our goal uh, was really to get up to here, because I think that's a port next to it. That's actually the Hamburg port. The city of Hamburg is up there, but the port of Hamburg is right there. And then we'll take two and come up there. That'll be good. If we can do that, we can encircle a bunch of soldiers, and then hopefully try to take this small, small port. That hopefully they won't be able to reinforce. Good. All these convoys. Three Belgian convoys. Another Belgian convoy. Two more Belgian convoys. Three Canadian convoys. Oh. Three ships. Oh, a small little encirclement of only 12 divisions. Even though the infrastructure here is complete crap, that's okay. Let's go ahead and put some of the Egyptians out of their misery. Uh, we're doing very well right now on infrastructure. And we're building up radar in Schleswig-Holstein. Uh, we may want to increase infrastructure here as well. So, Convoys, very nice. Convoys, very nice. Awesome. Keep moving along if you can. Please distract the enemies as you go along. Is anyone? No one is attacking across the front, which is fine. It looks like they have maybe pushed a little bit... No, no, no. This is still their territory. We're taking most of Slovenia. Which, after this war, I will give Slovenia as well as Istra to Yugoslavia. That would be great. That will happen. Uh, let's see. Anything we can do here? Propaganda against the Japanese. I have no interest in the Japanese. We have taken from them what we want. Uh, I mean, even though the Chinese are not going to have a good time here, we still may go to war with them. I doubt it. I don't really see a point in attacking them anymore. We got what we wanted from them, so... Uh, limited exports, trade. Oh, we're doing very well in tungsten now. We do not need anything else from you, Sweden. Thank you very much for your time and efforts. And we need less from the Dutch. So we lost seven planes, so there are three. We shot or sunk 16 convoys. Sunk a light cruiser, very nice. And Iraq is taking all this territory for themselves. That's a big no, 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 no. Ah, and yes, Alexandria is surrounded. And the other outlying provinces are not getting enough supply. Good. Oh. Well, plane for plane. It's on convoy. Another convoy. Uh, a couple of convoys and a planes. Planes. Oh, a single battleship. Nice. King George V. Eh, he's already dead once. We'll kill him again. Alright. Oh. So we sunk in sub, we lost a few planes, and 17 in Greek convoys. But we shot, lost 9 more planes, but we saw a carrier and 7 more planes. Now that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright, they really, really want to get out of here. But they really, really are not going to be able to. Keep applying a little bit of pressure. A little pressure never hurt. We have El Amin. Very nice. What is their manpower like at this point? The Egyptian manpower, yeah, it's getting pretty darn low. Oh good, you guys are surrounded. Don't let don't let them escape. No no no. That would be a mistake. Crush them where they stand, and you shall have victory. Good. Oh, oh, we sunk 19 Egyptian convoys and as well as another two. Ah, oh, nice, we sunk quite a few uh subs, wow. Ah, and we have made the encirclement. The tanks have done a phenomenal job. Even though it's not a proper encirclement, it's still an encirclement nonetheless, once we take this. I'll let you will attack here. Uh, have you guys attack as well. I don't believe this attack will do very well. That's okay. Our goal is to wear them down. Let's put on a strategic bomber because we have nukes. I guess a nuke. That's okay. Wear them down as much as you can. 
Uh, let's see. Ooh! Lost two Greek convoys. The Greeks can always take more hits. Sunk 16 enemy subs. Sunk six Egyptian convoys, followed by another two. Uh, what else is going on? Yeah, we can't really take that port just yet, but we are going to try to weaken them further and further. Send the tank this way, and send a tank this way as well. This way, we can, if once we take this province, we have a little more leverage to attack that pro Never mind, that province is done. Let's go ahead and assault. This is the wrong way to attack. You never attack across the river. But we're Russia. We can do what we want. Good. Look at all these con these uh not these are not convoys, these are soldiers. They want to be on convoys, shipping back home, but their home will be the ground. And you know what? Once this war is over, no one will remember them. That is totally okay with me. Oh, they took some territory back. Is that territory important? Nope. Alright then. Wear them down. Our goal using tanks is just pretty much wear the enemy down, break through the enemy lines, and just wear them down. If it would happen in modern war, I mean, my goal would not be to win so much as to pretty much purge the enemy of its resources. That's really how probably any next total war will be won. Just purging the enemy of the resources, whether it be physical, like material goods, um, you know, tanks, planes, Sweden got invaded. Uh, let's see. Cruiser, pretty nice. Oh wow, that's, oh, wow, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Oh, battle cruiser was sunk. Very good. But yeah, I mean, like even not just just like physically, like mentally, like if you've been in war for a long time, you want to exhaust the enemy emotionally. Like the death toll will be too high. It's just the psychology behind the warfare and driving your enemy to you know force a surrender. It's kind of always fascinating me. Bleed the enemy dry. And that's what I'm kind of trying to do here right now. Obviously, with, let's see, these Germans, Hanover, they have a little bit of manpower left, but they're on, scraping the barrel. The UK is on scraping the barrel with a little over 600,000 manpower. The Italians are out of boys, ascend to the front. The French are almost out of boys. They have, they can go to scraping the barrel. Baden, well, Württemberg is 20,000 on scraping the barrel. Bavaria is literally out of almost all their boys, 15,000. The Egyptians are close. I still have over 2.5 million, so, I mean, Russia, you know how to make babies. Just like the Chinese people. Great job, guys. Um, the Austrians I actually have a little bit of manpower, considering they've been in like three or four wars at this point. But I've gone on about that too much. Now, this this is a little... Not too upsetting. Apparently, they've not taken too many ports. So uh, You just go right here while the other guys are distracting them. We'll send our tanks up somewhere else as we continue to carve up Deutschland. Or the rest of Germany. Hmm, I really hate attacking across a river, but it looks like I will have to. I could attack this snippet right here. Uh, that might be a good idea to attack and destroy this little snippet, but are there any weak defenses? Looks like there's some defenses I could potentially break through here. We're going to try this first. We're going to try to attack... What is this? I can't even see what this is. Is this Hanover? There's too many people there. Bremen. We're going to attack Bremen first. We'll see how we do. And then, if that doesn't work out, then we'll clip this little part off of uh, Hanover. Oh, good, they're attacking us. Good, weaken themselves on our line before we unleash a, an ungodly amount of strikes against you. And before I forget, also defense. All these regions. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. Convoys are sunk and lost. Good. Casualty report. Over 10 million casualties. We've suffered less than 400,000 personally, with us doing pretty darn well, I mean, my god. French have lost over 1.5 million. Uh, see, now, bleeding the, the UK dry is one hell of an effect. I mean, 2 million are dead, not just from me, and Japan, both. And they're not even winning the war. What? Why are you fighting a war where you're losing so much, but gaining very, very little? It sounds like an American from, like, Vietnam, you know? Like, why would you fight in, a, supposedly, in, like, a jungle region? Literally halfway across the world, why would you fight? What, 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 what's the motivation? Why should you go kill somebody who's literally not threatening your home? Well, because they may threaten your home someday in the future, and you never know. Anyways, alright, let's continue. I've really been ignoring this front, but it looks like we're pushing uh, the province left of Alexandria pretty darn well. Hassan ibn Fuad is doing super great. Of course, we do have air superiority. He is faltering, soldiers are faltering. Even Alexandria is getting attacked, but we're not doing super well there. 
Uh, let's see. Mission supports. Ooh, fighter agility, yeah. That would be good. Even though we're not doing really well, once we get soldiers over here, that'll really matter. And we can claim Alaska now. And as well as Hawaii, Washington, and Oregon, and parts of Canada. Alright, well, once this war is over, I guess I'll have a landing in North America. Let's see. Reinforce our eastern presence. Manchurian candidate. Befriending them. Uh, well, I definitely don't want to give them the island that we already won in the war, so we will reinforce our presence. And we'll get a little more war support that we don't need. Wow, we have over 3 million manpower, or 3 million at least. And we get more infrastructure. I like that. Yeah, let's focus on infrastructure right now. In a part of the world that doesn't re even really need it at the moment. Better subs, good. Uh, looks like they've stopped their attacks. Well, good for them, I suppose. <clears throat> We're going to wait for these last tanks to get up to the front line. And then we will push. We'll attack two provinces at once. One in Bremen, and one to the province to the right of Bremen. My god, you guys take freaking forever. Also, I realized I wasn't making any planes because, uh... I literally wasn't making any planes. Where was it? Yeah. I don't have enough. I need to make more military factories. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, yeah, I like that. 100% infrastructure. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that every day, all day. And double times on Sunday. Twice on Sunday. Let's see... Good. Convoys. Convoys. Ah, the British failure of landing at Sweden. Oh, we took another carrier. Ah, uh, that should demoralize the enemy. They even took a port, but yet they did not hold it. What a bunch of failures. Alright, so. Motorize and armor. You attack Bremen. Armor, you attack there. You know what? Send an infantry division to help out. To strike up north. Alright, so we can be slightly pierced due to the lack of tanks that we have. Definitely need more planes, though. My gosh. Is there any way I can send maybe a few more planes? Or at least create a few more planes? What do we have a lot of? Support equipment. Artillery, infantry equipment. Well, I suppose we can get rid of some of our support equipment in exchange. <laughs> None. We gotta, we gotta make a lot of planes, because we don't have air superiority, and super, air superiority is extremely crucial for tanks. Nice, good job, guys. Push up this way, and then push down here, and then we're gonna immediately try to cross over the river. Crossing over the river is our goal and key right now. And from this position, you can attack into there. So we're attacking from two, three different sides. Good. Good, good, good. I mean, we're fighting someone very experienced in warfare, but... He can't pierce our tanks, and it looks like Alexandria has fallen, and it will not be kept, or Iraq will not continue to own it forever and ever. No, no, no. Uh, this is weird. This is really weird. Uh, go, go, go ahead, I guess. You are over there. Ah, uh, Vladimir Capel, a truly ingenious man. Go right ahead. With that being secured, the Suez is firmly ours, with no point of contention. Yes, I'm already planning on garrisoning all of these provinces, or at least their ports. Good. Eventually the Mediterranean will be fully ours, and we'll turn it into a Russian lake. If needed. Alright, so we're still fighting this province up here, it's taking quite a while. It's kind of annoying. What are we missing? Medium tanks, yeah. We need to wrap up our modern tank production. Oi. Let's see. Oh, it's like another sub. Very good. How many naval ships does the Italians... The Italians have 13? They have 40. All right. The French actually have 40 ships. That's pretty good. UK has 14. Spain has 40 as... Or 9. I guess they have 9. All right. That's fine. All right. And we've won that battle. We're immediately trying to attack across. Hopefully this will work. For the love of God, I hope it does. Yes, we've won the battle, but we must... We have s claimed land across the river. We have made it across the river, and we're immediately trying to strike quickly across to Wilhelmshaven, surrounding it, demanding a surrender. But of course, the Germans... These fickle Germans say, Nein. And of course, they will pay dearly with their lives. I'd like half of you. Go help them out here. Keep fight up. These barbarians, they're out of boys. <laughs> the next generation of boys will be extremely small due to all the death that they've brought upon themselves. Cool. 
Even though it was a bad idea to attack across the river, at least start the attack. They can have to attack from here as well. Yeah, across the river is never a good idea, but that's okay. Take good thumbs off and... Alright, it looks like one of our allies is a... Oh, our, uh, one of our garrison wants to attack into Italy because I already told him to station yourselves there, but oh well. Oh, Iraq. Iraq, 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 Iraq. Good, that's a little bit better. The Ottomans and the Iraqis, they love contesting each other for territory. But they're not going to get any of it. And uh, be careful because now we're entering a part of Africa that's very, very devoid, or void, actually, of uh, supplies. Very, very void of supplies. Nice, some more subs sunk. Wilhelmshaven, the attack was unsuccessful, but that is okay. Uh, we have infantry up here, anyways. And since we are across any major river at the moment, we shall strike south. We shall, uh. I kind of want to ignore Wilhelmshaven, but I kind of don't, so let's move our tanks around here a little better, and then we'll we'll show Wilhelmshaven a good time. Right. Any second now, I will launch an attack, but these guys are taking forever. Screw it, just go ahead. We're attacking from enough sides. The, yeah, the infantry, just the defenses of Wilhelmshaven was just not enough. And Blank has capitulated. Great job, guys. We've capitulated Blank. Hanover is gone, done, it is a dead rump state. No more shall it pester us. Alright. Now my goal, I want to attack this area. This Pacific province where my mouse is over, because it has an airbase. Air bases are crucial in this war. And right now they have an air superiority. The allies do. I do not. I need as much planes as possible. And, secondly, this would deny them as better air coverage. We've already taken it. Awesome. Another encirclement shall be considered soon. Let's let our boys get up there to the front. Now, what I would have liked to have done is cut off Hanover from everyone else. And we want the Rhineland. Southern Germany, no one gives a shit about. Uh, it's got mountains, it's beautiful and stuff, but... The Rhineland's what we really want. Alright. So. Ooh. Oh, another tank division. Awesome. We need one more and then we'll be done, so let's cancel that one. Good, good, good. Alright, so, if we can break through here, which we are currently paused, uh, we'll leave that for now, whatever. So we'll attack there, and then we will go without two tanks, to strike down here, without a tank, and motorized, why not? We shall strike to this province, without another two tanks, we shall strike down here, and hopefully we can strike across this way. But a bunch of extra tanks in being. Alright, so we should be able to win this. They cannot attack us. They cannot at least win or penetrate our tanks. I doubt I have enough fighters. We have some close air support, which I don't use. Tactical bombers. Yeah, we don't have any fighters yet. That's okay. We'll slow it down a little bit. Let's see. Naval bombers. Even though we don't have air superior superiority over northern Germany. Not over here, at least. We can maybe strike the north, eastern North Sea. Baltic Sea. Uh, you can go here and then strike into there. That'd be great. Let's see what our tanks do. As I completely ignore the Indian front. I've not even looked at you this time. I mean, I'm not really wanting you to advance too much, but... Advancements are always nice. Probably lose there without any extra support. Are you fighting one or two? Oh, you're fighting three divisions. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, it's a little too much. Yeah, this is just a kind of a distraction. It's kind of like a phony war. Sometimes it gets really hot here, like a few a few battles. But not really much is going on. Because actually, they had to contend with the Japanese in British India. So that's where probably most of their fighting force is going. It's fine with me. I don't really care. I get Africa for the most part. Not you, Iraq. Not you. But I get Africa. And it, between Africa and India, let's just say this is a lot more territory that I have to contend with, but they have a lot more resources. And less people like this pacifist people like, like what was it, like a guy named, some sort of stupid name, like G G Gandhi or Jamandi? Yeah, something like that. I mean, you know, pacifists. 
at least in Africa, we already have a firm established colonial rule that has a few revolts from time to time, but not compared to India, where they really want to kill the British off so badly. I mean, maybe a little bit of that happens in Africa, but they've got more resources in Africa. That's what we really want. That's what we're really here for. So, that is my reasoning for this instead of India. Besides, India has like, what? 700 million people? That's a lot of people in that small, relatively small amount of territory compared to Africa. I mean, Jesus. You got sandy beaches up north, and then you got some really dense jungle in the middle, and then you got some plateaus in South Africa. It's a nice, it could be very nice. It can be, as long as people aren't killing you because you're of your skin color. But, that, that's, I didn't say that. Alright, so we reinforce our eastern presence. The Manchurian candidate, ah, uh, the Manchurian Empire has to be a puppet, so we can't do that. That's fine. What else can I do? All my focuses are done on the right. Uh, alright. Alright, so it looks like I'm done with all my focuses. Let's focus on something else. We can suppress our subjects. Construction repair. Construction engineering. Uh, let's build up some of that. I like building a lot of stuff up at, uh, throughout my games, so eventually I might choose, choose suppressing subjects. But, maybe, maybe not. Oh, it looks like we are trying to break through here, but it's going okay. We'll attack from the side. No one expects infantry to attack. Not too much. Someone's justifying on us. Ottomans. Ottomans. What are you doing? You know, how do you expect to get to Afghanistan if you're my puppet, first of all? You have to go through me, Persia, and then to get to Afghanistan. Yeah, something tells me, uh, I've already taken them out. I've already taken you out quite a bit. Don't make me take you out more. I will literally put the Ottoman Confederacy splintered up between me, Greece, and Syria for the remainder of history. Don't you dare do this, man. Good. Alright. I guess I could expand some radars. I mean, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put it in the queue. I'll put it in the queue. I mean, obviously, I really won't need this very much. Maybe that one. Maybe these. I suppose so. I guess we didn't like radar units. That's okay. I did build one up here, so that's fine to build. Uh, actually, in this area of Istra would be probably a good idea to do so. I'll put in some of these islands, yada yada. Good, 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 good. That's what we do have a claim on Canada, so we always strike the United States, which might alarm them, but that's okay. Awesome, we made an encirclement, guys. Another encirclement for the juices of the Empire. The juices of the Empire, what am I saying? Alright, go ahead and attack. Uh, something tells me they're not going to be really happy about this, but you know what? I don't care about their happiness. Let's see, where are my tanks? Good. Ah, oh, those are Bavarians and Italians. Should have settled, settled their differences years ago. And it's getting smaller and smaller by the day. Send in this tank division to help them out. Break them up a little bit. Alright, send in another tank. Look at all these divisions. Failed dreams and hopes. So many prisoners of war. Should have just waved that white flag and given up. Wow, that's like at least 50 divisions. Ah, oh, so good. Meet the Rikozlov, you have an upgrade? Nope, but you're level 5 general. Very nice. And they have been almost all... They're gone. They are gone, they have died. They have given their all, and unfortunately for them, it was not enough. Now we are dealing with I would say a little bit fewer soldiers of the Allies. Our goal is to go around, swing around to the Confederation of the Rhine, and then trap both the capitals of the, the remainder of Hanover, as well as the Confederation of the Rhine in Essen. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Now, our infrastructure here isn't super good, which is never good. Oh, region wide, yes, please. Hey, war bonds, yes, please. Good working conditions, more stability. Hell, why not? Stability for the workers, just because I don't want them to revolt against me again. That was not a very fun time for anyone. All right, so if we can attack here, this has this does not have any sort of fortifications. I doubt we'll be able to break through here. So then we'll go over there, and then we want to go over here, down there. I can't really see the lines very well because of all the other lines. 
If you could break across that river, that would be absolutely great. Right there. Alright, let's see what happens. I doubt we'll actually be able to do that, but we'll see. Most definitely see. Planes. We're making positive on the planes. Good. We have a few mod extra modern tanks. I will adjust the tank uh, template before we're done. Or maybe between this episode and the next, depending on how fast this battle goes. Another Italian sub sunk. Ah, uh, wow, we've encountered quite a few divisions up here in Africa. They're, they're defending their own homeland, which is fine, which would be expected. You guys are trying to hang out. Khartoum, Egypt, I need that. I need this Egypt. I mean, you guys can attack all you like, but... You're trying to fight them for this territory. That's alright, as long as we win, bleed the enemy out. And actually, Kingdom of Egypt... Ah, oh, it's still down here in Khartoum. That's a lot. Oh, right, what's, what else has happened? Three subs sunk. Another submarine sunk. Alright. Look at you. Yeah, we're not being super successful here, guys. How about we drop it down to a... We'll try our best type of scenario. Tunis is encircled, cut off from the rest of Western African Union. At this point, I feel confident enough I can put you in the Adriatic Sea. 18 battleships. Yeah, I feel fairly confident about that. Alright, are we still trying to attack that one province? I believe so. No, I think this is a new province we're trying to strike into. Ah, oh, please let it be. Please let it be. I'm over. Or, yeah, pretty much hand over. You are... You still have quite a few boys. That's actually surprising. They have quite a bit of manpower. Uh, Confederation of the Rhine has a little bit of manpower left. And we weren't super successful there. That is okay. We have done a very, very good job destroying the enemy in this episode. So, what have we done? We have pressed further and further into the German territories. Germany has been a battlefield for centuries now and has continued to remain so. We have capitulated most of the Hanover government. However, they do have some pockets of resistance. Our next goal is Confederation of the Rhine, because without the Rhineland, the rest of the German war efforts between all the separate German states will be crippled, honestly, to be pretty much frank with you. Once with that, that is done, we will finish up the rest of the German states. Uh, Europe is, other than that, Europe has been pretty quiet. We've sunk many other ships. We have capitulated the Egyptians for the most part, and we've expanded greatly into Africa. Uh, yet our supply problem, we're running into supply problems like any nation would. With that in mind, we're still def defending in India, and uh, we're having a good time. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe for my videos that come out once a day at about 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching.